yeah, this is basically what we started yesterday. And I thought I'd do like a little romantic getaway kind of build because yesterday was obviously Valentine's Day. So um, yeah, we're just gonna chill, do some building. I still wanna like do some of the exterior of the build as well and um, make it look a bit better outside. But I, yesterday I was kind of in the mood to do the interior first, which is very unusual for me. So I think we'll just carry on doing that today. Um, okay. Yeah, we do have like a little book section in the Discord. It doesn't get used massively. Um, but yeah, it's, it's there if people want to talk about books or recommend books to others. Um, I went through a phase where I, I like tried to start reading um, more like a couple of years ago. And then now I am reading, but I'm trying not to like put pressure on myself to read. So I try and read like a little bit each night. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but like I, I try not to be like, yeah, I'll read this within a month or I'll read this within two weeks. Um, Cause then it's like, I'm forcing myself to read. So I just sort of read at my own pace. Um, so yeah, I'm still reading the book that, um, the, what's it called? I wish I knew uh, this before book. Currently cuddle trapped. Uh, so food will have to wait. That makes sense, Toffee. That makes sense. Um, okay. Yeah, just some chill building. October, oh my lord. Hold off and eating because my other half's going to get you an Asian style salad later. Just having a drink so your stomach doesn't get hurt. Oh, that sounds good. That's nice of them as well. Yeah. It was um, the first time actually yesterday that Alex had been at home uh, in reasonable time because for the last many weeks he's been having these meetings at work um, and the meetings start at 5pm which is you know half an hour after his finishing time whereas yesterday obviously because he had to come home because we were going out for a meal he actually left before 5 p.m. So it was nice to have him home early <laughs> for um, one off time. But then I guess, yeah, he'll be home when baby girl's here. So he'll be home um, for a week and a bit. Uh, reading the Court of Thorns and Roses series. Yeah, I started reading that, I think. And then I didn't, um, like I haven't continued it. Maybe I'll have to go back to that. Reading a book on the Roman Empire. Try to read a little bit every night. Okay. Yeah, that's sort of like what I'm like. I try to read a small bit um, each night. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Kind of depends. Depends on how I'm feeling. Literally, Sha. That's what I said. I went uh, like on a rampage like, why are they starting meetings at five o'clock and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it's very annoying. But uh, it's fine, and he, he's got to do what he's got to do. Hopefully it'll all pay off, I suppose. Um, it is silly though, isn't it? But I guess where he works, obviously, like it's not just everybody has like a, well, a half seven till half four shift. Um, some people come in later on in the day and they um, their shift is then like in the, in the evening. So the reason it's like a five o'clock one is for so that everybody, I guess, can be there. But then it's like, why they, why don't they do it if there's a crossover with the shifts? Why is it after some people shifts end? Like it doesn't make sense. Um, Lilac, thank you for that look. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll do a little lamp here, and then some bits on here. Maybe some sun cream. That's always needed in a romantic getaway in Solani. Um, did I do the bathroom? Yeah, I did. Okay. Maybe some little trinkets. Uh, we have like a dish that we can put, put keys in. Actually, we'll do the little memo pad. Maybe that's like... Maybe it's an Airbnb and you can leave little notes for the um, owners. That could be cute. Trinket bill. Um, not that. Not that, no. Maybe you can bring pets along and this is where they store treats and little pet 
friendly place. Love that. We've been looking at pet friendly places. So my, um, my, we've got a couple of big birthdays this year in my family. Um, and, uh, no, she's not here. <laughs> I'm actually, maybe I won't say it just in case. Cause sometimes my mum does pop into the stream and she'll like have a look in and then I, I will never realize cause sometimes she doesn't say anything, but yeah looking for pet friendly places for uh birthdays basically but i won't say it any more than that because just in case because lo and behold i'd be the one to spoil it because my mum's accidentally like watched part of the stream where i've said it so i'm not gonna say any more right let's size this down that's a worry like maybe <laughs> maybe it was better when my um parents didn't know anything really about twitch <laughs> Pop that there, we do... What's this? A cereal bowl. That could be used as like a... Put your bits and your bobs in that. And then we do a little front rug here as well. Um, okay, we need like a smaller one. Let's see. No, I kind of want to stick with the colour scheme. That could work. Size it down, maybe. Meh. I want more like long rugs and like these sorts of ones. Um, it's Sky. Thank you for that follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. I need to um, next week try and like record a load of videos for YouTube because obviously this week's been a bit of a a bit of a shambles. Um, been a fair bit going on this week, and uh, I'm gonna say that it's a bit of a write-off for YouTube stuff. Um, so next week I wanna I need to try and get back into the swing of things. Um, so apologies for the lack of videos this week. It's just I haven't, like, felt in the right mindset and, yeah. Next week I'll get back into it. Oh no, Toffee! There's no moving now. <laughs> You're completely stuck now. How long will he nap for, um, for, do you reckon? No sorries. Thank you, Maura. It's just been a difficult one. But I think after this weekend, hopefully, I can get back into a bit of a bit of a swing with it. And then I also need to like, I want to try and pre-record as well for um, the week where little girl is with us. Um, can we put on here? I want to put things where we can, just so that we don't have people putting random plates up here. Um. See, let's see. I like that. Usually only naps once a day now. Any length from 30 minutes to two hours. Oh, okay. No food for you then for a little bit, potentially, Zafi. <laughs> Bless him. Right, let's use this as like a TV unit area. Could do this kind of dealio. And then have the sofa here. Or do we do TV there? Sofa there? Maybe? Mm. Like this kind of vibe. Although it's annoying because that's not in the centre. Like if I do that that be better yeah that's got to be done what have i done with the roof though no, it doesn't really make a difference so that's okay let's move this in and then copy this maybe like bring these in yeah do you know what that's fine 
Um, okay, I don't know about that particular sofa, but just so for the appearance of it. Do we have island living sofas? Could do something like that. Um, oh, that's an island living one. It doesn't look very comfy though. It kind of looks like you're sitting against a hard back. I've used that TV a couple of times in my builds and my husband keeps asking me each time, aren't you going to put a TV in for them? And it makes me giggle. He doesn't play Sims, but comes and looks over my shoulder when I'm building. That's cute. I mean, it means that it's doing its job, I suppose. It's doing its job of um, being disguised as a, uh, as a picture frame or a painting or whatever. So that's pretty good, I suppose. Um, okay, I think maybe we'll do this. And then have a couple of armchairs. Filter by Island Living. This week just has been a bit of a blur, really. I can't believe it's sort of nearly the weekend. It's Friday Eve. Does anyone have plans for this weekend? What are people getting up to? I kind of want to know as well, just, <laughs> just for like the distraction of that, if anything. But also, I'm always interested in what people are doing as well. Um, let's do that pink. Uh, this is a bit topsy-turvy. You didn't realise that, realise it was the TV rainbow. Yeah, I suppose it's easier to... Oh, I don't like it. Don't like this anymore. Delete. Yeah, it's easy to mix it up. Like it's it means it's doing a good disguise. It came in the is it the modern lux kit? It came in, I think. Yeah, I think it was modern lux. Um and modern lux has my favourite bed as well, because it's literally the exact bed that me and Alex have. So um yeah. Filter by the maybe we should filter by if we go into comfort. And then sofas rather than love seats. So I want to be seeing three seaters, not two seaters. Um. Oh, that's a nice one. That's in the is it the oasisy kind of one? Um. I feel like the brown. Could do a pop of blue. No, let's do that. And then maybe we do like a console table underneath. Oh, I don't know. What a dealio. Wait, let me filter by... What's that one? That is Dream Home Decorator. And just go to show all. I always worry about making your these little, um, what do you call them? Like thingamajigs. I'm like, what if it doesn't fit in? Have I even done the same? Okay. Oh, I don't know about this. Because now that doesn't look right. Oh dear, okay. Um, could do that. And then... Go along like this. Oh my god, has the whole chat been frozen? How long has the chat been frozen for? I can only just see any other messages other than um, I didn't even realise that was a TV. Okay, I can see chat now. <laughs> I think Twitch is twitchy today. Chat has been frozen. Okay, I think we're back. Um, somehow I managed to transfer him, um, so I'm free. Good. Wait, can we just do a quick test? Twitch is being really twitchy today, I think. Um, I'm going to say a word, and the minute you hear me say that word, 
type it in chat. Um, so the word is phone. Okay. Okay, so there's like a very slight delay. Um, yeah, there's a slight delay. I don't know if Twitch has been Twitch. I haven't dropped frames, but I think it might be on Twitch's end here. Um, thank you everyone <laughs> for participating in our test. Um, saw chats before I even heard it. I, I Loads of chats just literally came in in like one second at the same time. I think it's, it froze and then like came back. If I have missed anything, just let me know. Anniversary tomorrow, but alas, hubby's far away. Celebrate when he gets home. Yeah, doing a deep clean all over the house while he's gone. So nothing exciting here. Oh, bless you, Michelle. Yeah, at least you'll have lots of celebration when he's home though. An indie game I adore is getting a sequel. So tomorrow you're gonna play the demo. So hype for it, that'll be fun, Aya. And see you later, Violet. Thank you for hanging out. Chores and maybe going to the Warhammer store on Saturday for a bit. And then playing some Sims this weekend too. Maybe some writing. That'd be good though. Got a couple of ideas in mind there as well. Beautiful slice of life point and click. Oh cool, I uh that's cool. Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back. I can see the phones and I can see the messages. I'm on mobile and re mistyped and had to retype. I think it's okay. If there's any sort of delay, it's maybe like a few sort of seconds. Um so yeah. Um, sad anniversary tomorrow, but we'll be with family, so it'll be fine. Can we please send some love hearts in chat over to Mindy there, you lot? Um, I'm glad you'll be with your family. Um, but I, yeah, send in all of the love, and I hope I hope that tomorrow is all okay and goes okay for you as well. Twitch banned one of my friends for being a bot, and she's on the partner track. And when that happened, everyone that had a reoccurring sub, they were all cancelled. Oh my god. It sounds like Twitch is on one at the minute, to be honest. That's so scary. Especially when you're like, you know, trying to build something and then they just like go ahead and do that. Oh, I hope she's okay. Not good at all. Oh, I don't want that one. I want, um... Is there like an open one? um found a cool looking show on tiktok so gonna check it out oh enjoy rainbow does have her account back but it was bad sent her mental health down the bin isn't the first time it's happened to her jen hello can we get some love in chat for jen Jen, thank you for 25 months of subscribing. Thank you for being a part of this community and supporting for 25 whole months and that tier two as well. Things are going good. It is getting closer to um, bringing Puppy home. Um, so yeah, very much looking forward to that. And um, yeah, things have been things have been uh, rocky the last couple of weeks, but you know we're looking forward to puppy coming home and um yeah so all has been good here how have things been with you thank you so much for 25 months and thank you again for supporting at tier two as well that is so heckin generous of you and um i really really appreciate that i hope you've been well so exciting yeah we're really looking forward to it uh, planning your gender reveal, Ambi. Oh, that's exciting. Do you know when it's going to be yet? Or I guess that's probably all going to all gonna come into play with the planning process. Good luck with all of that. That's fun. Busy, chaotic, stressful work stuff. But things are starting to balance out. Um, doing well overall. Good. I'm sorry that things have been, um, been a bit chaotic and stressful for you, though. But I'm glad... Things are balancing out and you're and you're not too bad um, in the grand scheme of things. Um, yeah, it's always good to see you. Oh, March the 2nd, so just a couple of weeks away. <gasps> That's so exciting, Ambi. Do you have things in mind then that like you wanna you wanna sort of do? Um things that you know, like, yeah, definitely wanna do that. Let's do that. I kind of want it to be a little bit all over the place. So maybe oh we'll go with this. And the TV can go there. But yeah, we've just been just been chilling today and um, 
chit-chatting um, about concerns about different things. Um, and then, yeah, we've been building a little romantic getaway. Um, I started building it yesterday for Valentine's um, and I thought we'd just work on it today, really. A small thing with mostly people close to you. That's nice, yeah. Nice little kind of intimate thing, I suppose. Um, that's exciting. Ah, Who's going to, like, um, know the gender? Is it, like, a family member that's going to keep it secret and then and then share it? I'm always, like, whenever, you know, in the future... Again, it's not going to happen for a little while. But in the future, whenever me and Alex... I don't know why I'm doing this as a... Like, this is blatantly a TV stand. Like, a TV <laughs> frame. So I don't know why I'm doing the picture when it literally is... Do you know what? I might just do a normal TV. There's no point doing a picture. Like, it's obviously a TV is going to be there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always thought, like, when we have kids, like, how would I want to do it? Would I want to know the gender? How, like, um, yeah. Best friend and your mum know. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, I bet that's really sweet for them as well to, like, be a part of that experience and to be the only ones that know you know mad thank you for that look my love um, thank you thank you oh that's so special i hope it all goes well um okay we definitely need to obviously sort out some wallpaper here but i think we'll get things down first some little like activities they can do while they're here on their holiday I think painting is a good one. Like painting, standing on this little balcony, looking out, painting the views. Can we fit a hot tub here? I was gonna do like sunbathing, but maybe would a hot tub be better? It would fit. So maybe we do that. Trying so hard uh, not to give it away, yeah. Gotta keep it hush hush. It's only a few weeks away. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe we'll do that hot tub there. Unless we, can we like maybe move this forward? Um, move the lot forward. Slightly. Wait, I want it to be in the middle and now I've completely, I can't see what I'm doing now. Is that in the middle? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> I can't tell. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, it is in the middle. Okay. Why don't we then do like this sort of area over here as well? And then this can be like a little sunbathing deck, you know? Just nice little addition. That's a good idea. Because if you're renting out like a little, you know, place like this, you want a place where you can just sunbathe and chill. Delete that. Copy this. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, oh, I might actually go and take a quick break, you lot, and go and get some foodies um, and make a cup of tea because I am hungry. I did not eat lunch. It's my own silly fault because I was getting like so caught up in anxious thoughts that I did not eat lunch um, and now I am paying the price of that and I am feeling quite peckish um, so I might actually do a quick pause and take a break now yeah sounds like a plan um, I always normally take a break an hour in anyway because it's meant to be meant to protect my eyes <laughs> um, all right you lot I will be right back I will pop words on stream on and um, yeah, take a break yourselves if you need. Go get a snack maybe, go to the toilet if you've been holding it in. Um, get a drink and yeah, I'm gonna say it's been an hour anyway, yeah. All right, I'll see you lot in a few minutes.
It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your truth You're drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't teach your options Nah, I'm not the problem Man, that's on you You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always Drop that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately It's you You don't know who Put it on me But baby, it's true Lying like a Okay, I am back. <clears throat> I'm what? Did you mean to gift a three month sub? Um, excuse me. Thank you, Sean Rainbow. Thank you for gifting three months of a sub to Castarina. What's that for? <laughs> Thank you so, so much for that. Oh. I tried. Um, also, by the way, Bod has gifted 345... Wait, why does it say 345 months? Rather than subs. 
well, 345 subs in the channel in total. Thank you, Bod. Castorina, if you are here, enjoy a gifted sub from Bod for three whole months. That's absolutely wild. Bod, thank you. I can't even believe um, I didn't even know you were here and you already gifted a sub <laughs> before I was to know. You can't just come in and gift a three month sub, Bod. Thank you for that. That is very, very generous of you. Swindler, welcome in as well, by the way. I can't even. Well, you weren't here. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't mean you can get away with it, though. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> what are you like? Okay, let's have a look at our top three. We've got Gemma in number one, Sassy in number two, Lara in number three, and Trinka in number four. There we go. Just missing out in the top three spot. <laughs> Bud, thank you again for the three months gift sub. You are wild. Can we get a whole lot of love in chat for Bud as well, you lot? No, you can't get away with anything, actually. That's um actually not a thing. <laughs> you cannot get away with anything. Um, I've got my cup of tea and, um, yeah. I was thinking on the break as well, like, um, <laughs> apologies for, like, I felt bad that, obviously, my worries with the little pup and her weight. Like, I think she will be fine and everything. And after speaking to you, like, I feel happier. But I, I um, was worrying that I, like, put, like, that I sh maybe shouldn't have said anything and, like, uh, maybe should sometimes not share my my like worries and internal thoughts as much but it's just because like I wanted to like get second opinions and I know especially with Michelle having had golden retrievers before to see what like other people think so I hope that um that's okay and apologies if not but yeah I just didn't know whether I'd maybe like shared too much or yeah don't apologize for that Sharing your worries is okay. We're here for you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I just, yeah, didn't know if maybe... I don't know. Five in a row. Thank you, Bod, for the five stream watch streak. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just... um, I think I just... I'm not the type of person to, like, sit in my thoughts, especially when they've, like, happened, like that day as well um not sharing too much in my opinion okay i just didn't want like uh, to feel like like i didn't want anyone to feel like i'm putting it on them or you know like yeah i don't know <laughs> anything you ever want to share with us is okay worries or otherwise no matter how big or small thank you okay to express what's on your mind um rather than Suffering alone in silence. It's good to talk about these worries. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. So I feel sorry now for saying sorry, but it's just, yeah, no, it's just one of those things. But yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just, yeah, it's, it's difficult when it's like, that's my baby, you know, and I, I am a worrier as well. So, um, yeah, I have I have worries. Good to express what you're thinking. Yeah, if you're worried about something, we're here for you. Thank you, Mad. I think it is just a case of when we go on Saturday, ask some questions, and go from there. Really, I'm sure it'll be fine. Alex has said like there's no point in worrying, and you know because we've seen her, she looks fine. Um, but we'll just speak to the breeder, and yeah. Oh, deep breaths. Victoria, good morning. How are you? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. I ate something on, on the break as well, which um, makes me feel a little bit better too. I had a little bit of a pita with hummus, which was tasty. I'm glad I, I did eat something. Um, yeah, how's your week going, Victoria? Welcome in. Um, I could do these chairs. I never tend to use them. I know how you feel. Always need someone to talk about, talk to about anything. That's what we're here for. Thank you, Ambie. 
Yeah, definitely. It's just one of those things as well when like you can't get instant, I say instant gratification as in like I can't instantly know that like because I haven't spoke to the breeder or, you know, um, I haven't seen the dog. I can't get that instant gratification of, oh, everything's fine, you know? Um, so, yeah. I hate to say, but welcome to the world of a dog's mum's worries. Hopefully it'll last about 16 to 17 years. Yeah. I think with Millie as well, because obviously I was quite young when we got her. But I am I can be a bit of like a, is it a hypochondriac? Like where I think there's always something wrong. And um, even with Millie, like I'm like, oh, she's got this, you need to get it checked out. And in some senses it's it's been good because we've discovered things that um, we might not have discovered if I wasn't so worried about health, um, like her eye when she had that issue. Um, but in other senses, it's draining. <laughs> It is draining to be worrying all the time. Um, but yeah, we'll see how how things go with this baby. But do you know what? It's better to get these things checked out, even if um, like there's nothing wrong. You do always listen to us a lot. That's what our friends do. Yeah. Uh, welcome in, Aurora. Oh, no, it's not a sad conversation. No, it's, it's definitely not a sad conversation. It's just... Um, I've been expressing my internal thoughts and worries. Basically, we um, got a message yesterday um, from the breeder, like, and she was basically saying like, all the pups are microchipped, um, you know, none of them yelped, like they all did really well, blah, blah, blah. Um, and on the, like, in the background of one of the pictures, I'm very observant. So in the background of one of the pictures, I noticed that like um, a couple of weights were written down and our girl's weight is like a little low, lower than the others. So like some of the others are weighing in at, they're like six and a half weeks now. And um, some of the others are weighing in at like 3.3 kilograms, no, 3.2 kilograms. And our girl is only 2.2 kilograms which um, is like quite low. And I called the vet this morning. So I spoke to my mum and said like, I'm, you know, she's quite low, but she was like a smaller one of the litter as well anyway. But I spoke to the vet and they said that that is low, like on the lower side for her breed. Um, and to like, you know, when we collect her, bring her in just to get her checked. Um, but yeah, I was just sort of expressing my worries with this lot. Um, and seeing what they sort of thought about it as well. Um, and I think like we've sort of come to the consensus that she's like, it probably is a case of like nine puppies all um, diving in for food, like nine little, well, some of them are chunkier than others, probably hogging a lot of the food and she might not be getting as much as maybe some of the others are. Um, and yeah, she's just on the smaller side. And her mum for a golden retriever, I was saying, is quite small as well. But as long as she is eating and putting weight on, that's good. But I think until we go on Saturday and, like, you know, mention it to the breeder and just say to her and see what she sort of says, there isn't really much we can do about it at the moment, you know? So, yeah, that's basically where we're at. <laughs> 14 year old girl started suffering from seizures a few years ago and I didn't sleep for weeks. Luckily with meds, she hasn't had one in a year. Good. On constant alert with her, especially given her age. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's worrying when, whenever like anything's wrong with your baby, you know, because that's your baby at the end of the day. Um, but I didn't think I'd be worrying this soon. <laughs> but um, no, until we go, until we see her and like speak to the breeder as well. Um, there's not really much I can do about it. So yeah, we'll just see, we'll just wait and see. But yeah, that's basically what we've been talking about. So it's not like a, a sad conversation as per se. It's more so like a me just getting my internal worries and thoughts out there. But I mean, she looks fine. Like, you know, in the video that I showed you a lot recently, she looks fine, she's just small. Um, so yeah, I feel like if there were worries, like maybe she wouldn't have, well, I don't wanna start talking like this, but if there if she, there were other worries, then like 
she wouldn't be here right now, I, I, I imagine. So just trying to think positively. Understand the worry comes with being a fur baby parent. Yeah. Our 19 year old Kitty's always been a teeny girl. Think she was the runt of the litter, but she's going strong at 19. Yeah. Thank you, Aurora. I was saying as well, I was looking at like on Golden Retriever um, Facebook pages and some people were saying that, so she's obviously six and a half weeks and some people were saying that even at eight weeks, their Golden Retriever was like weighed less than our girl that she is now and now their dog like you know months or years later down the line their dog's fine and weighs like a healthy weight um <clears throat> so yeah worrying more because she's not with you just yet i'm sure it'll be better when you have her home yeah definitely yeah yeah <laughs> Try not to worry uh, too much. She looks healthy and she's playful too. Um, as well as you know, the breed has been nothing but transparent and open. And I'm sure the vet checked her over during the microchip as well. Yeah, I think we'll ask that as well. Like, have they been checked over? Um, I mainly let Alex ask <laughs> these kinds of questions because more so because I'm anxious to hear the answer. Um, care about and love her so much. You just want the best for her. Yeah. Probably Domi, yeah. <laughs> All the running around. Um, I just want the next two days to fly by. <laughs> just so I can see her. But like, like we sort of did say, if there were any issues or whatever, like the breeder would have told us by now, you know? So, yeah. That's true, yeah. And even when they were weighing them, they would have noticed as well. Um, let's pop this bin here. You're so attached to her already that the worries are completely normal because it's the what ifs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Rational worries. Yeah. Good morning, Bunny. How are you doing, my love? Welcome in. How is your week going so far? Um, okay. Let's do like plants over here, I think. Maybe we should get this little thermostat too. Um, that can go there. Yeah, I just, um, I feel like I'm going to be worrying for the rest of my life. I'm not worrying about one thing it's um it's another thing <laughs> that's life yeah. uh failed on the present shopping but I did get a bubble tea and noodles oh yummy so that's good yeah at least you did that <gasps> Elise 36 36 months already I can't believe it had been that long it just feels like yesterday I found your stream and this amazing community. Love you, Taz, and you brighten my days. And when I feel a bit low, I come in here and you put a smile to my face. Ah, can we get some hype in chat for Elise with the 36 months? That is three years of a subscription. Thank you so much for resubbing for your third year. And thank you for that lovely message as well. That is super duper sweet of you. And I'm glad that I can brighten your days. Um, and put a smile on your face as well. That means a lot. And I hope you've had an incredible 36 months with us. Thank you, Elise. Um, big, big loves and flex and hype in chat for Elise there. That's wild. Time flies when you're having fun. It really does. Um, much better to show these signs and worry as a new sort of first time pup mum rather than being indifferent and not worrying. Yeah. Oh no, Bunny, I'm sorry to hear about the cold and it's lingering. Have you been to the doctors with it? Because definitely if it gets any worse or it's not changing, get it checked out. Um, I hope you're okay. Hi, Nini. My dog's almost half the size of an average dog in his breed, um, but is very healthy. Just not that motivated by food and never has been. Okay, that's good. And the thing is, I guess like all dogs are different as well. And like similar with babies, you've got babies that are like going to be on the smaller side or babies that are going to be on the larger side or whatever um so yeah 
does put a smile on faces. You remember why you order on? Oh, they didn't have it. Oh no. Yeah, I got a notification as well, Sha. I haven't had them arrive yet. The only thing that has arrived today was the little, um, what do you call it? The um, travel bag, which is great. I was already telling my mum about it on the phone. The little, um, yeah, travel bag thing. Nothing else has arrived yet, but um, yeah, it could arrive tomorrow or today, maybe like a later delivery. So that is going to be perfect. Um, I think once we like get into a routine with little girl as well, we are going to book in to like and try and do badminton sessions a couple of times a week. Um, we'll get into a routine with her and then get going with that, which I'm excited for. I was on the small side as a baby, but I'm really tall now myself. <laughs> so nothing to worry about. I mean, it's definitely not something to worry about. Um, don't know if you're tall now, to be honest, Sha, sure. but yeah, <laughs> you know, we can all have high dreams. We can all have big dreams and you definitely can too. <laughs> you know what I'm teasing you. Um, we bring her home um, on the 25th of February. So in 10 days, um, do it in the backyard and have... Sure, if we did it in the backyard, our backyard is long, but it's narrow. I can genuinely guarantee it would be in the neighbor's gardens, um, like every time, because I, um, well, actually there is a space out the back we could do it, not in the back garden, but near. Um, I was playing with a uh, squidgy bat's dog, like when um, they came round, like in summer last year, and she brought this little ball toy that he had and I was throwing it for him like down our back garden and it was really cute and he was running after it and bringing it back to me and run, run oh I just realized you haven't you've been looking at me the last five minutes because I have been doing stuff anyway running back with it and then I threw it for like maybe the fourth or fifth time and it ends up in the neighbor's back garden <laughs> so um I reckon with something like a badminton like shuttlecock where it's quite light as well and the wind could easily blow it. Um, might not do it in the back garden. Large nets <laughs> turn the whole back garden into like a, uh, a badminton court or something. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Ask them for that. Yeah, just can I have your keys? So every time our shuttlecock goes in, we can just nip him. Yeah, yeah. So it's not long now. Not long at all. We're seeing her on Saturday as well. I think that will give me some sort of peace of mind a little bit. You just can't help but worry. And you know, I'm sure like the fact that me me and Alex kind of pointed it out as well. Like I'm sure the breeder is aware and hopefully, you know, will make sure she does eat. Surely they'll say yeah. In fact, can we just make our garden bigger? Like, do you mind if we just knock into your garden? So ours can like be a bit bigger, both sides. <laughs> can you imagine? That's funny. We actually got blessed with quite like good neighbors either side, to be honest. One side is um, a couple that are probably sim maybe a little bit older than me and Alex, um, similar age, I would say. And um, the guy, he was in um, Game of Thrones. Not nothing like big. He was just a like a background actor in Game of Thrones. And there's a, a scene like where you can really see him. The camera like really focuses on him. Um, so that's our claim to fame with that one. <laughs> he was in Game of Thrones. Um, and then the other side is um, another couple. Um, well, they're a couple, but they're like not married. Like they she has a house and he's got that house and they like alternate different weekends who sees who kind of thing um and he's really nice like him and alex have like um borrowed each other's tools and everything and we've been in their house for five bottles of white uh rose wine <laughs> about a few months ago so that's good um they're really friendly because you never know with neighbors like you just never know what like lottery you're going to be dealt with like is it going to be good are they going to be nice are they not 
about that, the weirdest thing happened. There's a lot of children living around us, so we get their footballs in our backyard quite often, and they always come to collect. But last time was in August, and that one's still laying there because no one asked for it, and we don't know who it belongs to. If I were you, I'd just throw it into, like, the next-door neighbour's back garden because it's probably one of those. Just a lucky dip as to whose back garden it goes into. When we were growing up, obviously living at mum and dad's, um... My brother, like, it still is like a big football fanatic and he used to play football in the back garden. And um, the amount of times his football would go into the next door neighbor's garden that they got so used to it where they would just throw it over like the fence <laughs> um, whenever they'd sort of notice it. Hi, Fern, welcome in, how are you? Oh, nice, Elise, how's your Lexi challenge going? Oh, they don't, that are old enough, they're just babies, oh. Or maybe just like throw it in the air and just see where it goes. I'm glad that you're doing good. Yeah, with with ours though, um, there are a couple of kids around, but none of them are old enough to be like playing with footballs yet or lobbing them like around the garden because we haven't had any any going on. Well, I guess our immediate neighbours aren't aren't don't have young kids, but. put it on the playground that's a good idea especially if it's been like months and months and they've not claimed it they might have forgotten about it as well to be fair or got another ball in the nearest that you know they have kids old enough might just be happy to get an extra football yeah that's a good idea oh you've got a kid we'll just throw it into yours but that's when you try and throw it and then it does not end up going in that garden and it ends up in like <laughs> some other random person's garden <laughs> thank you for the luck simmer enjoy doing your um doing your build um, enjoy enjoy i think let's put some like spa day bits in here maybe some old lady's garden yeah literally Everyone, hello. Thank you for the 10 stream what streak, my love. How are you? Welcome on in today. Welcome, welcome. Second gen has three kids and one on the way and has reached level 10 in their career. Amazing. So it sounds like it's going well then. I'm okay. I'm doing okay. A few worries and concerns that we sort of spoke about. But um, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, you're getting snow. So it's making move slow. Oh gosh. Is it like getting delayed then? Or like what's sort of happening? I hope I can still aim a little. Did water polo, did you, Sha? Might end up through someone's window. Oh no. Yeah, my brother used to get in trouble with that a lot. He'd be like um, kicking the ball and then it would end up like going against my parents' window, nearly almost like smashing the window. Nothing's delayed, it's just, um, oh, nasty in your body doesn't like it. Oh, I see, I see. Oh dear. <laughs> That's annoying, just stay inside. Don't, don't, don't go outside for, until it clears up. Although that's easier said than done, isn't it? A lot easier said than done. Yeah, it's always sad, isn't it? I feel like with legacies, it's very easy to get so attached to the generations. And then it's like, and then they're just gone. And that's it. And you meant to just carry on. It's like Sims and Bloom. I'm just like, I remember getting really, well, I've been attached to most of the characters to be fair, but with Maggie, I just absolutely loved and adored her. Even Indy, the fact he won at life, like defeated death multiple times was just wild so then the f time he I, I, mind you to be fair i feel like when he did actually die i was so desensitized to him dying that it actually wasn't as bad as i thought i was sad but it wasn't as bad as i thought attached to indy sad when he finally died i know bless him yeah i think maggie was uh because that was like my first sort of legacy challenge and she was obviously the first heir i guess 
that got quite attached to her. He was an icon, wasn't he? I just feel like that, like there's been so many like moments of just different things like, of all of them now. They've all got their little quirks and their little fun memories and stuff. And like I feel like in the earlier gens as well, so much random stuff would happen, like completely unannounced. Mind you, I, I say that, but yet River has um, taken brought that back. <laughs> He's um, taken the sword with that one, with his whole getting what's her so socks pregnant and then getting somebody else pregnant. I'm looking forward to playing Sims in Bloom, actually. We'll obviously play next week, but yeah, get back to it. Adored your Gem 1 Sim, so it's very sad when she died. Yeah. It's, yeah, hard to not get attached to. Okay. Do a little dressing area bit here. Hi Chimbits, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Um grab one of these in here, I reckon. Although maybe is this one gonna do that one? Um and then a little dresser. May as well do this one. It's on theme, it's on brand. That's the door, isn't it? So that takes up that space, that's fine. We could do like an armchair in here, maybe. Do you know what I haven't checked out yet? I haven't checked out the Vitiligo update. Was that the only thing that um, came in the update or was there anything else? Because I've just seen people talking about the vitiligo on like Twitter. Maybe I should have a quick look. I might quickly go and have a look actually. That was the only thing. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, because I, I think it updated, was it yesterday that they added it? We'll go into this household. This is mine and Alex's household. Although it's not the My Life Story, it's just um, a household for... I think it was when I was doing gameplay with Alex on straight, uh, on the for a YouTube video. But where is it then? Is it under skin details? I have so much CC that I'm assuming it's base game as well, right? Oh, Millie, welcome in. We are currently building a um, like a little romantic getaway. But I just wanted to have a look at the Vitiligo update. Saw someone speculate on Twitter if there were eyelashes. They thought it was still just eyeliner. Oh, I did see that, but I haven't seen anyone talking about it. So I assume it's not eyelashes. Oh, base game skin details. Let's see. You can't filter on here, can you? Hi, Leah. Welcome in. Thank you for the seven stream watch streak. That's wild. Oh, is it down here? Oh, it's quite hard to see. Oh, okay. <gasps> Micah! With the one year. I hope you had a lovely Valentine's Day. Thank you, Micah, for 12 whole months of subscribing. Thank you so much for that. And thank you for supporting every month in a row as well. That is above and beyond generous of you. Um, and I did have a lovely Valentine's Day. Thank you. Yeah, we went out for a really nice meal. Um, Alex got me some beautiful flowers too. Um, and it was just really lovely. So yeah, thank you. Um, and thank you for one whole year of... Um, support as a subscriber that's so so kind and thank you from hyping as well how how are you doing Micah? it's good to see you changes with oh okay so there's a few different swatches then and it changes with the skin tone okay there's a fair few options here oh my god there's loads are these just um face ones or are there like body ones as well oh my god there's loads Interesting. 
I want to see how it changes when, like, I'm guessing CC ones. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. Don't remember what where Alex was on this, but we'll just do that for now. Oh, there is body ones. Where's that then? Is that in tattoo? And for all ages. Okay, cool. Um, I'm assuming it's, is it in tattoos? Oh no, skin details. Oh, okay. Um, okay. We've got back one. And then different body ones as well. Oh, this is great. Uh, oh, it's obviously birthmarks. Oh, oh. And then arms. And legs. Alex had some chunky legs. Much like real life, to be fair. His legs are thick. Does not skip leg day, I can tell you that for free. What are these? <laughs> What's that? What am I looking at here? A changing crotch? No. What? Oh, it's just um, birthmarks. Oh, the stretch marks. Wait, I've never seen the stretch marks. Oh, that's so cool. When did they come? Hi, Ella. Yeah, it's um, the vitiligo. Uh, I think it came out yesterday or the day before. But I've only just had a chance to look at it. It's good that it's all ages as well. Uh, wonderful update. Just heard about it yesterday. Yeah, been here a while. That's so cool. Did the bird, I feel like I remember hearing about um, stretch marks. Did they come um, with growing together or something? Uh, Browning, welcome in. How are you? Let's have a little... Um, I just want to have a look at the details here. So they've got the same here. Have they got like um, stretch marks for women as well? Oh, cool. And they've got bum stretch marks. Oh, I love that. And the leg ones. I have stretch marks like like on my hips. So yeah. Um, I, I've been, not been too bad. Not been too bad, Ella. It's been an up and down kind of year so far, but trying to be positive. Drive safe, Sha. Drive safe, my love. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, perfect. How have you been though, Ella? It's good to see you. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm glad we checked that out. I probably won't even need my um, Vitiligo Skin CC then that I've got. Who made the Skin CC that I've got? Let me double check, load back in. Oh, they came with the birthmarks and C-section scars with the Grind Together update. Oh, there you go. That's good. Um... Yeah, I'll have to scout out that, that CC and get rid. I don't need it. Uh, keep the positivity, yeah. Kind of get my health controlled. Do what I need to. Oh, I hope everything's okay, Browning. And I hope things things get better for you. Um, sending big, big love to you. Um... Oh, we need a little chair here, don't we? Yeah, I probably will load it onto the gallery, to be fair. I probably will. Good morning, Raccoon. How are you, my love? Welcome, welcome. Um, Yeah, so it's kind of just like a... I'm making like a little rental house. Um, and I probably will upload it on the gallery. Whether I upload it as a rental or just a house, I don't know yet. Um, but I can pop it on. Lots of lurking and working these days. I always enjoy chilling here. Ah, oh, thank you, Micah. That means a lot. That means a lot. Yeah, it's nice to just, um, yeah, have the company, have a little chit chat. But I always quite like when I'm like working or I'm editing, I quite like just listening. I'm guessing they can get through that. Listening to streams or, um, yeah, people talking.
Oh, well, thank you for liking, Brown M. The island living sliding door is wonderful. I want more that look like that. Yeah. I've, I don't even know if I've used that sliding door in a build before. Um, so I'm quite happy to put it into this build. Wasn't feeling well, so called into work. Awake now, but taking it easy. Yeah, definitely take it easy if you're not feeling 100%. I'm sorry to hear that, Raccoon. I hope you feel better, um, better soon too. These on here. Yeah, be best to just take the day and, you know, focus on feeling well, getting yourself back to feeling better. Needed to get away from my household, but couldn't find one uh, that I wanted. So this is great. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think tomorrow, regardless on if I finish this today, I'm going to do the little 24 year thing that uh, The Sims posted on Twitter, where it's like, have you done these 24 things? I have done the majority of them before. Um, just swap here. Yeah, I've done the majority of the things that's on there. Oh, that's the same thing, but we'll do that. But we'll see if we can do it in one stream. Which will probably be quite chaotic. <laughs> Trying to do all of that in one stream. But do you know what? Chaos follows me everywhere. So we'll give it a go. Worth a try. Right, pop these little... Actually, no, maybe we'll put towels on here. Yeah, if you're on holiday, you're going to need the little selection of towels. Don't know about the walls yet, exactly what I want to do, but we can put some bits on here too. That. Um, that can go on there. Maybe some flat, like plants on the floor there as well. Could do some video, uh, some board games. Chaos? Yes, please, Tess, <laughs> Obviously, Kaz hears chaos and uh, pipes back in. Kaz, thank you for the 100 bits. But no, just because somebody said the word chaos doesn't mean you have to come in and cause chaos. <laughs> thank you for those bits, but that is totally not necessary. <laughs> You're wild. <laughs> Here's the word. And does that mean if I say the word, I don't know pizza you'll have to buy me pizza is that how it works <laughs> everyone has to buy me pizza Every, everyone that is in chat right now that'll be a lot of pizza i would not manage please do not do that <laughs> please never do that enjoy your lunch ellen thank you for popping on in thank you thank you you already know pizza is cassie's go word literally <sighs> Oh, dearie me. Let's pop some birds of paradise in here. That's a lot of pizza. Can I just spam in? Uh, the green and then another little plant here. Someone needs to contain Kaz. <laughs> Kaz must be contained. Saw it coming a mile away. Oh no. Pop that there, maybe. Uh, there we go. What can we put in this corner? Mm, I might get uh, a little gaming console in here. It draws quite nicely in there, actually. But in this corner, something decorative maybe. Oh, we can do. Would this fit in here? No. Kaz always brings snacks to our naughty step. I mean, angel step parties though. Anyone that is on the naughty step is not an angel. I don't know where you think or how, why you think you are an angel. You're definitely not. And snacks aren't allowed. Queen, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we've got a little stereo system in here. Um, maybe, yeah, we can have like a space for a little pet to sleep in here as well. Although that's going to be annoying if they wake you up crying. Oh, well. 
pop that there. And some food bowls. Oh, I didn't know you could put food bowls on a table. Uh, why is that completely glitched? Let's put some food bowls here. Oh wait, no, that's the door, isn't it? Um, maybe here. Ooh, 5k points away from being an angel, Michelle. You're getting close now. Look at you go. Been saving up. Um, um, we'll get a little mat under this. Um, a pink one. Okay. That's fine. Maybe like a little picture on the wall. I saw that food bowl slot into the table and thought, imagine feeding the pup on the dining table. Yeah, you're basically encouraging them though, doing that. You're sort of like um, saying, yes, you can eat food on the table. <laughs> Get on the table. I told you a lot about the time where um, we were looking after Evie and Lexi and uh, I came downstairs and Evie was on our table, on our dining room table. I was like panicking instantly got her down and figured out how, tried to figure out how she got on there uh candies welcome in i haven't been here in a while but did you move yeah i moved about um a year and three months ago uh we moved into our uh yeah a, a new place i suppose um so yeah Thought she'd just have a look around up there and see if you left any treats, literally. She went up and, like, she was sniffing her little bag um, that had, uh, you know, had their food, had their bits in it. Luckily, the bag was shut. And luckily, Lexi's a snitch because Lexi was, like, barking at her being up there, which then alerted me. And I was streaming at the time, I think, was I? No, I was streaming at the time. Well, I'll tell you about that time. But I was streaming at the time where she was... No, I wasn't streaming at the time. She was on the table and I... Um, yeah, because of Lexi telling me, I went down, got her off and, like, you know, made sure that none of the chairs could be got... Like, she couldn't get on any of the chairs. Because she, like, jumped on the chair and then onto the table. And then another time I was streaming... And this whole dog found chocolate and was eating chocolate. And if it wasn't for Lexi telling me, then I wouldn't have known. But she was absolutely fine. Apparently she's had like chocolate three or four times before and it just doesn't affect her. I'm like, how? Smelly cat, smelly cat. What Aurora! Oh, thank you for the 31 months. Can we get some hype in chat for Aurora there? Resubbing for 31 months. Thank you so, so much for supporting in that way for a huge amount of time. Thank you for choosing to um, subscribe with your Prime as well. Literally could have given it to anyone. Thank you for choosing to give it to me. And I hope you've enjoyed the last 31 months. Thank you so much for that, Aurora. I hope you're doing well too. Um, big hypes and big flex in chat for Aurora, you lot. Thank you. Typical sister behaviour, literally. Our pop did something similar when he was younger. Um, when he stands, he can easily reach the front of our kitchen counters. Everything has to be kept put to the back and chairs at the table have to stay pushed in. Yeah, that was kind of the, like, the dealio that we had where the, um, what's that? Those are like the swatch. The chairs were, they weren't pushed in. No, they were pushed in. They were pushed in, but not pushed in enough. Like there was still a small amount of space that she could like jump on them and get up. Um, so then it got to the point where we had to put like bags on the chair so that she wouldn't jump up there. It was scary. <laughs> so, so scary. <laughs> but yeah, she was fine, thankfully. But I was here on my own and I was like in a big panic about it all. 
and then found out that she'd had chocolate before and was absolutely fine. They were like, I'll just keep it on her. She's, she's done this before. <laughs> Kept an eye and she was honestly fine. My dog once stole a whole galaxy chocolate bar out of my bag, but she was absolutely fine. Yeah. Thank you for the save reminder. I think it depends on the type of chocolate as well, because dark chocolate is um, meant to be more toxic to them. Is it dark chocolate? I think. Whatever it was, this was like the opposite. It was where if it was like dark to more toxic, this was milk or either or whatever it was. Um, but yeah. No, that was a close call. Millie's never really had any sort of incident like that. I don't think where she's... Oh, the only time um, she ever had an incident was she was quite young and it was back, like, obviously we, we don't... My parents don't do... They did it once and learnt their lesson. But it was when, yeah, she was really young and when we used to, um, like, have a roast dinner or whatever, my parents would, like, put the tray of oil out in the back garden to, like, cool off and they did it once and uh millie licked up some of it and she was like vomiting and stuff she was absolutely fine obviously but it was a lesson of don't do that again <laughs> dog ate an entire bag of hershey's kisses foil and all and was perfectly fine i panicked big time and was in a state all day watching him oh my god mad he thought it was great fun oh <laughs> I disappeared for a while, but I've loved popping back in the last few weeks. Oh, thank you, Aurora. I now watch him uh, around chocolate because he loves it and tries to steal it from me. Yeah. The darker the chocolate and the smaller the dog, the worse the combination can be. Anyone who's avoided damage has been very lucky. It must have been milk chocolate then. Um, but yeah, it's scary. You've got to always sort of have your whips about you, haven't you? Um, PC on here, I think. Yeah, I know some dogs that have eaten some very weird stuff. Some not appropriate to say <laughs> on stream even, but all have been fine. Your dog ate a lollipop stick, but she was fine. I was in such a panic and worrying loads. Yeah, because the thing with those is like, um... You know, if it were to break and for it to be sharp and like hurt her insides, you know? Had that happened before with some grease in a pan, dad had drained off some meat over the back railing and needless to say, we had a few poopy princesses. Yeah. Yeah. You only do it once though. Remember that story. Yep. <laughs> right, let's get a little um, desk lamp. Um, soy sauce packets. Oh my lord. Had a dog who used to eat everything. A light bulb and a razor. My mum rushed her to the vet each time, but she was absolutely fine. Oh my God. A razor as well. That's absolutely terrifying. Okay, I don't, uh, don't like that PC anymore. Let's go with this lamp. Maybe a laptop. I do want it an entire bag of candy corn that he grabbed off my desk. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm, I'm now like taking in. Well, to be fair, there's nothing really. We do. We've. Uh, we used to have a box of chocolates, like a um, thing that a, a basket that had chocolates in under our um, coffee table. But I've already cleared that. I don't think there's anything else really that she can get access to. Luckily, she was all right. My dog must be immune. Yeah, you can't help but worry, though. Like, But it's just, yeah, better to get them checked out. And if, if something does need to be done, then at least they're at the vets. But it's just scary. Scary stuff. Okay. Can we do some... Mm, no, the storage doesn't fit. When I first met my partner, he had a dog who would occasionally dig through the garbage for food cans and chew on them until someone spotted her and took it away. She was a unique lady. Oh my God. It's wild, isn't it? How they get into these things. And I suppose even like 
things that you wouldn't expect like you'd think oh no that's fine like they won't get into that and somehow they do it is wild absolutely wild um yeah we've been puppy proofing we um a lamp that is we have on our console table downstairs we've uh, like covered that wire up the console table as well we have um put like padding around the legs and stuff so that if she tries to go and chew them it's just this like soft padding stuff um yeah we've got we need to get as i say this some stuff in case like um we've got like puppy pads and things like that but i want to cover the floor as well because puppy pads with a big dog as well could leak through and our floor is porous it's um exposed wooden floor so if any pee leaks through that it's gonna smell <laughs> for a long time so um yeah we need to get some bits for that that's what this weekend is going to be all about though sorting that out thank you nikki for reminding me to drink water you could write a whole book just about her oh my laws yeah they do they do definitely get your heart pumping don't they get the old blood pumping <laughs> the heart racing the blood pumping Lots of things to chew. Yeah, less likely to chew your stuff. We pick up all our shoes and put them in a spot off the floor to eliminate the temptation. Yeah. Chew toys, like chews as well. Even things like um, I've been reading like frozen carrots as well is meant to be good for them with their teething and things like that. And just divert the chewing as much as you can. Like, no, we're not chewing that. We can chew this though. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. I say this, I'll come on stream in two weeks and look like I've like rolled backwards through a bush or something. <laughs> so how's the pub? How's that going, Taz? Well, I don't know. Uh, when I was a child and we got our puppy, um, we had not long uh, had new laminate flooring and trimming our kitchen which our excitable pup chewed up. Oh no, she was one of a kind. Hi Fifi, how are you my love? Bicarbonate of soda, the smell goes and so does the stain. Soaks up, I always use it. Yeah, I've got a spray. There is a spray to like, meant to be stop them peeing in the same spot. Um, So we'll see if that works. Nyla bones, but we have Great Danes. Their puppy chew was like a full grown dog. Really, Kenison? Yeah, we've got a couple of those as well. Um, so, yeah, lots to keep her busy. Good morning, boy mama. How are you doing today? The internet company's working nearby. Oh, your connection keeps playing up. Oh, that's annoying. It could be Twitch, because a couple of people um, have said that they've been having issues with Twitch today. It could be that as well. Plenty of chew toys for her too. She just preferred the floor. <laughs> oh, thank you, Fifi. How are you? Hello, Chasovies. How are you, my love? Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Do you want that? Do those. Okay. Uh, in like a green bag, would definitely recommend. Um, her name is yet to be shared. Um, so I um it's the one thing that I'm keeping it keeping a secret at the moment. Um and surprisingly I've done so well. <laughs> Have not said her name on stream. I've not slipped up once. Her name is Poopy Princess, yeah. Uh Astira, welcome in. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad, Chasobies. A little bit of stress, but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was Twitch at first, but my computer keeps losing connection as well as your phone. Clay has been having this. She's not been able to be in the stream today because um, her phone and PC haven't connected to Twitch. It's really weird. Your spaniel is called Sky. She's two. Oh, that's a cute name. Very, very cute. But yeah, we'll probably share the name once we once we have her home with us, I think. Um, and yeah, something to be excited about. 
trained a little sore. How about you? Oh, I hope I hope you recover quick. Um, yeah, I'm not too bad. Not too bad, thanks. Yeah, definitely. I will um, probably do a little announcement on Discord when uh, we're going to do her first stream <laughs> or show her on stream at least for the first time. Um, so yeah, probably in the first week that we have her, but we'll um, like near the latter end of the week, I reckon. But I will let people know on, on the Discord about dates. It's exciting. Um, oh, this could be handy. Pop that there, maybe. Um, I saw that, yeah, I saw that a mod has... Oh, can't you, what was it, like a cult mod or something? She comes home on the 25th of February, so 10 days. 10 days to go. So it's, it's not, not too long. Feels like it's um like time's going really slowly, but it's not not that long in the grand scheme of things. And long days, yeah. Um so. Yes, she'll be eight weeks, yeah. Exactly eight weeks actually, when we bring her home. Yeah, exactly, Mama Bear. Not long. <laughs> Not long at all. It feels like it though. Just ready for it to be now. We're seeing her this weekend. Um, I was saying earlier, talking about a lot actually. Um, she's quite small. She's a lot smaller than her siblings. Um, so you just need to sort of keep an eye on that. But yeah. Hi Nargles, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yes, uh, uh, Asira, we were actually looking at that about sort of 20 minutes ago, um, having a little look. Um, it's great now because I've had vitiligo, well, not me personally, but I've had vitiligo like um, in The Sims with my custom content for a while. So it's nice that now finally it's something that is accessible to everyone and um, you don't have to be able to download CC to add it to the game. So yeah, definitely. Brilliant addition. So happy they added it. Yeah. Really, really good. It's nice as well for, you know, people that do have vitilo vitilo vitiligo to be able to create themselves in The Sims and to have that accessibility as well. Uh, you're good just waking up for the day. Good. I get a little plant on here. Literally, Mama Bear, they are brilliant. Like, she has honestly said, like, you can come whenever. Um, and been really, really good about it all. So, yeah, so we get to obviously see her um, this coming weekend. We're seeing her on Saturday. And, um, and then we'll pick her up the following Sunday. So, yeah, it's really not that long now. I'm almost like I want to pick her up sooner, but I can't because we're going away for a couple of days before. But part of me is like, kind of don't want to go away and pick her up sooner. But no, it's best to pick her up on the Sunday. And yeah. No, so uh, she has the mum and she's got um, the mum's mum as well. Um, she doesn't own the stud. Exciting, yeah. Yeah, we really like got lucky with the breeder as well to let us visit so often because normally they say, you know, come, you know, once before you pick them up or whatever. But when I said to her, I was like, oh, like, you know, are we able to come back maybe a couple of times to see her? Um, she was like, yeah, sure. Like, come as much as you want sort of thing. So that's reassuring as well, you know. No, I, I'm not really a cat person. I do like cats and our friends have cats as well, but I, I think I'm actually allergic to cats because um, whenever we're around our friends' cats, my eyes are always like um, watering, especially in bed. I'm always like, my eyes are watering and um, I kind of get a bit sniffly. So I think I might be allergic to cats. It doesn't stop me though from uh, 
<laughs> stroking them. Um, some of our friends have like some really gorgeous cats. Like I do like cats. But I'm more of a dog person personally. But um, yeah, I think I might have slight allergy. Not not really bad, like, but a slight allergy. Also allergic to cats, uh, and I love them. Yeah, she'll get used to us exactly, Fifi. Yeah, it sucks when the cats are so gorgeous as well. I do still, to be fair, like stroke them and like nuzzle up and yeah, they're so cute. Especially when it's friends' cats as well and they like know you as well and they recognize you. You just want to, oh. But no, I, I definitely think there is, I have some sort of allergy. Um, do this. No, not that one. Uh, fiance is really badly allergic. Oh God, that's not good. That's the worst as well. Like, like say if you're around friends that have them or whatever. I'm lucky that I'm not too bad. To be fair, but that sucks. Oh, that's alright, Astira. My I normally. Um, post schedules on the Discord when I'm like streaming. This week's have been a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a doozy. I kind of haven't really known if I'm coming or going. Um, but yeah, normally my Discord's the place to to see when I'm streaming. Can't go to one of our friends' homes as they have two cats and he gets too sick. They always come to us. That's fair. Oh, it's a shame though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm lucky that it is just cats and, and it's not dogs. And, you know, we've been around friends' dogs that, are, um, that aren't that are hypoallergenic and they molt and whatnot. Um, and I'm always fine. But we were saying as well, I think like, cats have like a different type of fur or whatever it is. It's like a different thing. He's fine with dogs, yeah. Yeah. I had cats my whole life and was constantly sick going to doctors, staying home from school, and none of them did an allergy test. Gave you random medicine and was like, this should help. Oh, wow. So all that time you were allergic to cats. Last year my cat ran away. My allergies went away. Went to the doctor, finally had allergy testing, and you're allergic to them. God. That's wild. I know I've heard of like some people where they've sort of not realised and they've had the cat and then their allergies have kind of got better almost as if they've sort of become like i don't know desensitized to them or something um but that sucks if it was just like constantly you know you were constantly struggling with it and not knowing as well are oh, you boy mama that's exciting yeah jeez that's wild <laughs> It's scary as well, like, it's the not knowing, I think. Because if you know and uh, whatnot, then you, you kind of um, have a bit more flexibility and know what you, what to do and what not to do or whatever. But when it's, like, affecting your life and stuff, really not, and it's affecting, like, your school and your studies, then it's, like, scary. I'd have thought, though, with the do doctor that they would have, like, tested for that. How strange. Very odd. At least you know now, though, I guess. I'm trying to put a positive spin on it, but at least you know now. But that's horrible to have, like, struggled with that for so long and just not know. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Tea cans. Um... Oh, that is big. Mm. Wish said water bowls for the pets in The Sims. Yeah, I agree, boy, mama. I do have a custom content one. But it would be cool, wouldn't it, if they, like, had a little water bowl? Because it's not like the dogs aren't going to drink the water. Cats as well, I guess. But, no, it doesn't work. They could still use sort of a similar, 
like an animation for it as well, right? Right, let's put this here. Especially with how obsessed the Sims are with getting glasses of water, yeah. Oh yeah, they do drink the puddles. Yeah, so why can't they drink from like a water bowl then? That would be so cool. Oh, that's a shame, Nargles. Yeah, I mean, I think that's obviously for the best, but it, it just sucks when, like, you just know, I guess, that it's not an option. I don't suppose there's really anything you can do as well. Like, are you able, you're not able to sort of take anything, are you? Or it would, I guess that would be like you'd have to, on the daily, be taking something. Um, oh, cookbook could be cute to have on there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I want to do a bookcase over here, but it's not enough space. Speaking of space, the song just said space. Might do an armchair in this corner with like a lamp or something over uh probably next week uh we'll do some zim bloom i think maybe next next monday potentially uh is that really what like that Need to catch up on Sims and Bloom on YouTube, yeah. Yeah, I've not really been uh, been doing good this week, so I didn't feel like up to recording Sims and Bloom or recording anything, let alone Sims and Bloom. But hopefully next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Kind of coming together. Might work on the landscape in a bit. See, I kind of want to have like this sort of grassy bit coming up. Been playing Sugar Rush Macaroon Challenge, and I'm at a point where I'm not into it and trying to get back into it. Oh, really? Is it worth, like, if you're not into it at the moment, is it worth sort of maybe having a break with it? Oh, where's my says? Yeah, maybe having a break with it. Because there's no point, like, pushing yourself if you're just not, like, feeling into it at the moment, right? Really, Astira? Oh, you got, you got a little bit to catch up on then if you're uh, on Lavender Gem. Sim got a fame perk where she doesn't have to go through hair and makeup for her gigs. Wonder what that would look like in real life if a celeb showed up in their normal clothes and no makeup. Yeah, the crew just film. <laughs> ah, I mean, that's good as well. And does it still like, does her job performance and stuff still go up even though she doesn't have to get that done? Oh, is that to do with the like removing the number thing, Fifi? Potentially. Because I know they're trying to get rid of everyone that has numbers. Not get rid of everyone that has numbers, but get rid of the numbers in everyone's names. Speaking of Sims in Bloom, I just moved my Buttercup Gen Sim out on their own. I think I'm most proud of the fact that Daisy Gen kept his original Calvin alive. That is impressive. <gasps> Inept. Um, I don't know if you saw. <laughs> But um, I saw last night that you did a little satin satin. Um, inept off stream, very very kindly bought something off of um the throne wish list. I did call you out because I was shocked. <laughs> Can we get some love in chat for inept? Inept has bought baby girl a little raincoat. When I showed it to Alex, he was like, she's not going in the rain car. I was like, yes, she is. <laughs> he was like, I was like, you're not going to like this, but look at what Inept bought. <laughs> I put it on there, but um, it's very cute. It's very cute. And I think he'll come round to the idea 
um because i think it looks cute but inept bought baby girl a little raincoat i love how you're like um what's the word you are like encouraging <laughs> encouraging this um <laughs> like encouraging the raincoat alex has said no to any like socks or shoes for her um but he he's come around to the raincoat so um i feel very happy about that <laughs> but yeah and that put for the puppets to stay dry the poopy princess will look so adorable in this Thank you, Annette. That's very kind. Had my eye on the blanket, but it was gone. Yeah, Sha um, is it? I think I only put one blanket on there. Shah got the blanket. Um, but yeah, the raincoat is going to look so cute. I'm going to get all the pictures of her in that. Like, let me show you lot a picture of it. Because it is honestly the actual stinking cutest thing ever. I can't even speak. Let me find a picture. Hang on. But yeah, thank you so much, Inept. And uh, can we get a lot of love in chat for Inept, you lot? Getting that from the wish list. Um, let me sh save this picture. <laughs> I was laughing in Alex's face yesterday, like, you're not gonna like this, but look. And he was like, oh God, what is it? He was like, is it shoes? I was like, nope. And then I showed him, he was like, he said, he said, FFS. And then he laughed about it. Uh, where is it? Look! <laughs> Look! It's a rainbow for a little baby. It's just a baby. It's got a little hat and everything. No, I will not tell Alex you were sorry. Look, yeah, exactly, Annette. The little visor. He's just a baby. Oh, she's going to have sweaters. We need to protect her coat. <laughs> she's going to have coats and sweaters, but this is her first one. <laughs> she's got a little donkey. He's just a baby. <laughs> I have cute patterns. This is very cute. I cannot wait to put her in it. So um, yeah, thank you, Annette. I will be taking all of the pictures and she's gonna look great, protected on her walkies with her little raincoat. <laughs> I need one of those for my doggo. He hates the rain. I'll find the link. Let me try and find the link for it. Hang on. Uh, can I access the link through here? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you do exclamation point specs, it will say what my setup is, but my setup isn't like exceptional. Um, it's just, yeah, it's like, pretty normal, I think. I'd have to get him little booties too. He hates getting his feet wet. I said to Alex, I said no to booties, um, but yes to jackets and things like that now. Um, this is when he comes home and <laughs> he's like, yeah, the dogs don't like it. They're just going around like this. And I was like, yeah, but it's to protect their little paws. And he was like, if the <laughs> we can put like balm, you know, like balm on their paws to protect them, but not booties. Justice for booties. <laughs> There's the link to the raincoat. My doggo doesn't like the rain either, but I doubt I'll get him to sit still long enough to put it on and take it off. <laughs> She might like them, exactly. What if she does? <laughs> I can't even deal with this little visor. It's so cute. And it's got a reflective stripe for visibility as well. Oh, she's gonna be a great girl. Oh, look at this picture. Oh my God, hang on, let me show you this one. Hang on. <laughs> Booties is a bit much. No, don't agree with Alex. Oh my God, it's huge. Look. Ah! Look at his little face. I literally just showed the first picture to Alex yesterday and I was like, <laughs> he was like, oh no. I can't wait now. It's so cute. Thanks for that. <laughs> Don't know if Alex is thankful. Um, I'm sure he is. <laughs> but I am. Hi, Jax. How are you? Welcome in. Reaction to strong wind. He acts as if something's coming to get him. Really? 
Oh, bless him. Poor little muffin head. <laughs> well, I for one am very excited for the raincoat. <laughs> I just can't wait to see what she's going to be like. To be fair, I'm sure she'll get used to it as well, like, from a young age. Uh, okay, let me filter by Yeah. Ooh, yeah, let's get some of these. It is so cute, isn't it? Tired and still in bed. Literally just woke up. Um, how are you? I'm not too bad. Had a little bit of stress and worry this morning about the doggo. Just that, long story short, TLDR. She's way, way in like a lot lighter than her siblings. But she's one of the smaller ones. So a little bit of stress, a little bit of panic, but I'm trying to remain positive and um, not like get too in my thoughts about it. Um, but we're going to go see her on Saturday. So no, she's not the runt, but she is one of the smaller ones. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. Tried to do a water build and it was so hard. Oh, really, Nargles? Yeah, water builds can be difficult because it's like even things like adding a swimming pool or whatever. It's like a roundabout way to do it. Yeah, Saturday puppy visit. Morph was the smallest out of his lot as well when I rescued him and he just celebrated his eighth year yesterday. Oh, happy birthday to him. Um, happy and healthy, yeah. That's good. That's reassuring to hear. It's just when, like, because I called the vet this morning and um, I don't want to get too into it because I feel like I then get too in my thoughts, but every time I blooming talk about it. But I, um, they said she's quite small for her, like, for a golden retriever at her age. Um, but then I was on Facebook looking in, like, purposely looking at, um, like, golden retriever groups and... Uh, of a post and some people were saying that their dog was smaller than she was at eight weeks so like they weighed less than her now when they their dog was eight weeks and now their dog's fine so yeah i just can't help but worry seeing her will put you at ease so i'm glad you're getting to go see her this weekend yeah thank you hebwin i i think it is just like i am trying to in my head think that I think it surely is just down to the fact there are nine pups. Some are probably getting more of the food than the others. Oh, that's big. Um, and like, yeah, maybe she's not getting as much food as, as them. Um, and that's what it could be, you know. Logan was one of the smallest in his litter and he's doing great two years later. Yeah, that's reassuring. Nine, yeah. So nine pups, and they all go for the food at the same time. So it's like she, they, they're probably getting more. Like the red collar one is a right little chunky monkey. Like she <laughs> is like a lot, visibly a lot bigger than our girl. Um, so like they're probably eating, you know, a lot of the food. And plus in a week and a half, she'll have two parents who will take awesome care of her. So she'll have the best time. Yeah. I hope she'll, she'll be okay. Like, yeah hopefully as well like once we bring her home and we can start making sure like we know how much she's eating and stuff hopefully like things get better then too we have said though that i think when we do bring her home we're gonna like uh take her sort of straight to the vet and just get her checked out there as well um just to make sure you know so there were um five girls and four boys in the litter so yeah once she gets lots of cuddles and love yeah and like some of you lot were saying earlier she's not like losing weight like she's gained weight from her weigh-in at uh three weeks so that's got to be good as well can understand where you're coming from though because i also overthink yeah Get up in my head, yeah. I've definitely done a fair bit of that. I'm like trying to, <laughs> trying not to, but it's hard not to. But I think I also just need to see her, you know, to have that kind of peace of mind. Um, see you later, Astira. Take care. 
As long as she keeps gaining and it seems to be consistent, she should be great. Might just be a tad small like her mama, yeah. You're, you're, you're all probably right, you know. Yeah, like I was showing, for anyone obviously that wasn't in the stream earlier, I was showing a video of the mum. Um, and the mum is really small, like in comparison to my leg, like the mum is like not even up to my knee. Like, let me stand up, ignore the fact I'm wearing like just jogger things. But like, say these, these are my legs, right? Surprise. And the mum isn't even up to my knee. And for a golden retriever, like that is, that's like tiny for a golden, like not even up to my knee. Because golden retrievers tend to be, you know, quite big. She is a full golden retriever, yeah. Let me show you the video that I showed earlier. Um, see, because you can sort of see. That's the mum, and you can see that I'm bending down as well. And that's where she is on my knee. So the mum is small. <laughs> mum small um so it could be that yeah like she's it's like the jeans um so yeah you have legs i do she is gorgeous isn't she she's small my einstein would have been up to your upper thigh but he was really a big guy yeah yeah i'd love to see pictures as well that's wild. Yeah, because I was even saying, like, I went on a walk with um, Squidgy Bat, like, a couple of weeks ago, and we came across a golden called Dora. Uh, oh, I've just flicked to the wrong scene, sorry. Um, yeah, I came across a little golden, well, a big golden called Dora, and she was a lot bigger. Um, uh, let's do that. Like, on my legs. Uh, can I? Oh, we'll just do that. Um, yeah, she was like a lot bigger and they're obviously all going to vary in size and everything and whatnot. But um, yeah, it just sort of shows how small. What did I just delete? Uh, delete that and delete that. There we go. Um, how small the mum is really. Seems quite small, yeah. Pretty mama. She is gorgeous and she's got a brilliant nature as well. Like a really like good mama and whatnot but just worrying about my baby and trying not to because it's yeah i'm sure she is fine and like i feel like if there were any issues the breeder would have probably told us by now you know um my dog was only supposed to get 33 to 43 centimeters at the shoulder which is just below my knee and he's about 10 centimetres taller than that. And weighs almost as much as the standard size, yeah. She could end up being a big girl, like, she could end up being a lot bigger than her mum. Um, but she's just small at the minute. No, um, so it was because it was Valentine's Day yesterday, we just decided to um, build a little romantic getaway, really. Um, so it's not, like, for anything in particular, but... We just thought we would uh, do a little build um, for that. So it's just sort of finishing this, really. Um, a bit of that in there. Okay. Yeah, Valentine's Day was lovely, thank you. We um, went out for a really nice meal um, and then yeah, I came back. Well, had it was like a three course meal. Um, had good food and some drinks and stuff, uh, and then came back, watched a small bit of Aladdin, and then and then went to bed. Basically, it was really really nice, and yeah, just good to go out and like have a little date night, you know. He's supposed to be a pocket bully, and we joke that there was no specification on whose pocket. <laughs> Oh, nice, Fifi. That's good. Yeah, we were going to get wine, and I was like, I'm not going to, like, drink all of this. Like, if anything, I probably would have just had a, a glass. So we didn't in the end, and we decided to get cocktails. So, yeah, we both had um, a couple of cocktails each, which was really good. 
I love that Alex is the type of guy that will get cocktails with me. You know, because some guys just wouldn't. <laughs> but Alex doesn't sort of care about that sort of stuff. And he loves a cocktail. So, yeah, we had a, we had some cocktails. Um, and, yeah, it was really good. Um, hi, Joshua. Popping in between meetings. I hope the meetings are going well. And Goldbud, hello. No, you've not missed anything. No, you don't need to start any. <laughs> I read the first part of that and, I, and then I was like, no, don't need to start anything, Goldbud. You've done more than enough. Thank you. I have two dogs and they were both the smallest in their litter and they're completely different breeds and they were fine. Worried at first and lots of panic, uh, but everything turned out fine. Yeah. My partner and I were saying... Oh. It's a random message. Um, my partner and I were saying yesterday how in just over six months we'll be married. Oh, that's exciting. That's mega. Time's, time's going to go quick as well. It's going to fly by. We got... Um, so Alex had a peach bellini and then I had a... I had, He had a peach bellini and then he had a, one of what I had, which was something called a cherry blossom spritz, which had... Um, it had Prosecco... It had um, pink gin and then some cherry thing in it. Um, it's really good. Cooked a three course meal at home. Did mozzarella sticks, chicken parmigiana and side salad and sourdough garlic bread and then a strawberry cheesecake. Oh, that sounds like a right feast. Sounds amazing. Oh, I'm jealous. Um, I bet that was very well enjoyed as well. Yeah, they were really good, actually. I think Alex preferred my one, um, so I think he's glad he got it, too. Um, let's do some wallpaper inside. Very tropical and fruity, yeah. It had, like... Um, let me show you a picture of it. Uh, had, like, um, bits in it. Oh, let me go here. See the like little floating sort of cherry blossom bits. So it's really cute. You did a Galentine's instead of your friends. Oh, Claire, welcome in. <laughs> Wait, is it finally working now? Somebody else was having this issue as well, Claire, where it wasn't letting them load in. And there was another Twitch issue too. Um, is it finally working? Our first little date without our daughter and she's three. Have ban uh, anxiety and don't like being without her. Oh, bless you, Nargos. That's nice that you got to have someone on one time, though. Yummy, yeah, I mean, it was good. Posted a photo of me and my Einstein when he was still with us. Oh, yeah, let me go have a look, Michelle. Me and my Einstein clipped the photo from a video. Not a tall girl, but you can see he was a, babe, a big baby. Oh, wait, let me zoom in on here. Oh, he's lovely. I love the colour of him as well. Look at him. Aww. Oh, he's so lovely. I love his colour, actually. Yeah, he's quite big as well, isn't he? Aww, he's so precious. A sweet baby angel. Thank you for sharing that with us, Michelle. Aww. Listening in the background for the last half hour. Also, we're putting together some IKEA furniture and I come back to see the beautiful landscaping. Thank you, Mia. How has the IKEA furniture been going? Looks yummy. I don't usually do adult drinks, but if I saw that out at dinner and didn't have to worry about driving, I'd try it. Yeah. Yeah, we only had, um, I only had two. Um... I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> I've learnt my lesson with uh, drinks. The Valentine's table. Yeah, it was so lovely. And they had um, like a little heart on the table. Uh, uh, not a heart on the table. Well, they did have hearts on the table. It was like, um, what do you call it? Like little pop out things on the table. And then a heart balloon as well that we took home with us. And I've got the heart balloon from last year. Um, it's obviously deflated, but I've still got it. Um, so now we've got the one from this year as well. It was a regional thing. It finally loaded in. I've kept trying for hours. It must have been, surely. 
God, thank God it's working now, but that's so annoying. Knowing that you kind of had to put up with that for the last few hours, you know? Oh, enjoy your homemade Nando's, Faith. And Shah, welcome back. You don't need to apologise. How did that talk go? Uh, we just got two extra things today that are now being put together so I can fill it up with stuff uh, and get the rest of our things unpacked. Nice, Mia. Yes, it was the same restaurant. We went back because we'd been... Well, it's, it's a really good restaurant that's near us and we'd been for their Valentine's like meal before and it was really good, so... Yeah, we decided to go back again. Oh, let me go have a look, Nargles. Oh, how cute is she? What does it say? Does it say be my um, Valentine? Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and her little bows in her hair as well. Oh, she's gorgeous. Little cute head. We still have like anywhere between probably six to ten boxes. Oh, geez. Limits. Uh, you just need white wine, Olivia. Wait, was it Olivia? Yeah, it was. But luckily, Olivia was not there for our Valentine's Day. <laughs> Encouraging. Uh, more alcohol. She was not there for that. Thankfully. Um, he convinced me I'm not crazy. I need to call my doctor tomorrow. Nothing to worry about. Oh, oh really, Shah? I hope everything's okay, my love. Um, but I'm glad he's, you know, helped uh, put your mind at ease or, you know, helped with something. Last dog was huge. He was an English Mastiff. Uh, thought it was a lap dog. 230 pound. 104 kilos. Oh my gosh. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. Wow. That's wild. <laughs> funny how they think that they're smaller as well uh i could do that do i then change this to be blue maybe yeah uh you don't need to apologize raccoon listening to the conversations and building some lego sets i have uh since it felt like a nice calm activity to do yeah brilliant you don't have to apologize though my love you know you never have to apologize for being quiet or just lurking and taking it all in not at all i hope you're enjoying doing that what what lego sets are you building oh i bet she did that's lovely nargles very gorgeous girl little cute head and i love that that top as well so cute breed is a very loving dog yeah i find that cute though where they want to be a lap dog um and yet they're probably gonna <laughs> Like, you know, they, they, they weigh a lot, but they don't realise how much they really sort of weigh. And they just want to just want to love you and sit on your lap. And, you know, it's very precious. Um, it might be something that can explain why I fell out of work. And apparently it just runs in the family. Oh, okay, my love. Yeah, I, I hope everything's okay. But definitely best to go to the doctor and, you know, yeah, for peace of mind. Um, just, yeah, for your own peace of mind and just to know. But I hope, um, I hope that everything is okay. You know where I am. Um, this long like that. Um, and then in here, okay. yeah, big loves over to Shaw, you lot. Frilu, hello. Smelly cat, what are they feeding you? 23 months in a row. Of sunshine, Tazka. Oh, thank you. So close to two years, Tazka. I'm excited for your new journey with the pup Tazka blood. <laughs> thank you so much, Frilu, for 23 months in a row. 
thank you for supporting non-stop as well every single month for the last 23 can we get a whole heap of love um in chat for for Lou? you're already doing it you're already hyping um but thank you so so much for Lou. and um yeah thank you for supporting in that way non-stop for nearly two years now that's absolutely wild and um yeah sending all of the love over to you thank you thank you big big love so i hope you're doing well and i hope you're having a lovely week as well it's good to see you oh thank you everyone for sending Shah some love too um we've just been working on um this little romantic getaway um i started building it yesterday just like a little valentine's day kind of build and um yeah we're just sort of finishing it today really yeah thanks one bad habit he liked to jump up and put his front paws on people's shoulders i'm six foot four and uh could look me in the eyes when he did that jeez uh, big boy <laughs> wow that is wild i guess it's fine with you but if it was someone a little bit smaller i'd probably knock them over of course Joe. we're always here to to give you loves and hugs of course of course um let's bring this in here like that i think like we need a little picture or something there. Um, definitely in the bathroom. Um, what do you want to see while you're sitting on the toilet on holiday? I feel like I would want to see something sunny. Oh, you could do this actually. These ones from Island Living. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, this is annoying me. This wall. Aren't there... There are bookcases that are against the wall, but I don't... Nowhere near is, like, good. Could do that one. We'll just go with that one, I think. Rather than taking up the space. Could see when he was about to do it and had to brace yourself. Friends quickly learn to do the same, I bet, yeah. It's good though that you sort of knew it was coming. <laughs> Rather than, I guess, being like completely thrown off guard. Oh, bless. <laughs> it's funny, like, when they've got their own little quirks and, yeah. Aww. Um... Can this go somewhere else? I might put that there. No, because that's... You lot, with this door, do we need this space here to be available? Or does it, like, the door go like that? Like, can we put something on this wall here, even though the door takes up two spaces? Oh, yeah, definitely, Raccoon. I'll go have a look. Same. Ooh, the food looks amazing as well, by the way. Um, Nargles. What's realistic chicken parmigiano? That looks banging. Ooh, yum. I'm jealous. Um, oh, Michelle. Phoebe and my grandson had a very special bond. I love their, co their colour as well. That sort of darker golden. Um... Lego set uh, that I'm building. Little freebies I got when I thought I uh, bought some of my larger sets. You're currently doing the Castaway Island. Oh, okay. So you've got the Ravenclaw House banner, the Castaway. Oh, cool. Moving truck. And then the creator one, Scary Pirate Island. Oh, cool. That'll keep you busy for a little while as well. Fine on that side, but on the other side where the sliding mechanism sits, that needs to stay clear. Okay, so on this side it's fine, and then that's, okay, thank you, Raven. Yeah, this is, I think, the first time I've used that door. Um, so I had no idea. Phoebe wasn't as dark as Einstein, but boy, did she have a very furry, fluffy butt that she knew how to sway on a walk. Oh, bless her. <laughs> I love that, though, a little fluffy bum. Love to cook, uh, always baking bread or desserts for your friends and family. How you show your love, that's so sweet. Oh, I love that. That's special. And yeah, the food looks banging. It looks great. 
Uh, let's get maybe some shelves uh, just to go above here. Um, um, um. It's got a fair few shelves in this place, but I just want to cover all bases. That one. Let's see that one. Okay, pop a couple of things on there. What can we do in terms of skills or activities? So we've got the art, we've got the chess table. We've got a bookshelf. Something to go here. Um, you get a bar there. I know it's not an act. I mean, it is an activity. It's not a skill. <laughs> it's an activity, but I don't really know if it's skill building. But you know, uh, Drago or Drigo, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. Maybe outside, under the covered bit, we could put like a guitar or something. They could play that. Do, do, do. Is it worth putting like a little fire pit out here? Maybe? Hmm. Like a small little fire pit. Hmm. You made a great guard dog, front door at the time had a large window in it. If an unknown person showed up, he'd jump up on the door and bark. Seeing such a huge dog suddenly show up like that tended to scare people off, I bet. If I opened the door to a stranger, he would take off to a different room until he got to know the person. That's wild. I suppose, yeah, it's great for um, warding people off as well. Because no one's ever going to, like, I don't know, burglar house that's... Got a big scary dog. That's probably as gentle as gentle as anything as well. Aww. Oh, maybe I do want to put that there. that. I think that should all fit. Like if we do that. I think that'll be fine. I'm gonna say, do I try and put blooming gardening bits in here? But maybe not. You're coming on holiday. You're not coming to plant and grow a blooming battle plant, are you? Um, okay. Um, oh, thank you, Millie. I'm glad you like it. Get a little magazine. Where is it? Ooh, sourdough crepes. You see, pull apart bread. Oh my lord. When can I come over, Nuggles? <laughs> Approximately when? When am I coming over for dinner? Oh, here. There you go. Uh, okay. Perfect. Um, Right, I think at least the interior I am pretty happy with. I think I'll just add a little bit to the to the exterior and then we'll be done. I'm just going to save. Anytime, you're always welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Getaway turned out very nice, uh, very cute and lovely. I wish it was real. Imagine lounging there in the sun with that view of the ocean, literally. That would be amazing. Um, I'm gonna work out if I wanna something growing up these walls here, maybe. Possibly. Do we then do like a little sign? 
to show that it's like this is a holiday rental. Thanks, Sha. Um, oh, mm. like one of these fellas, maybe. No, not that one. Or that one. Um, none of them are like taking my fancy. This one, maybe. Do that um thank you for the water reminder as well and thank you phoenix for the three watch streak stream free stream watch streak yeah i reckon these kinds of places where especially like you've got these outdoor bits over the water and stuff you'd find in like the maldives or bora bora or um yeah places like that where they cost thousands Literal thousands. So we all better start saving up now because we might be able to go in 20 years if you start now. Um. Let's go into debug and do a few more plants, I think, and then we'll be done. Let's see, so we're looking for like tropical plants. I'm going to filter by island living. Horse ranch maybe. And then jungle adventure. Outdoor retreat. And then... That's it. I can buy a new car with that amount, yeah. I would love to go to the Maldives. But my God, is it expensive? Like we're talking, I'm pretty sure some of them cost like 20 or 30 grand. Are you, that's a house deposit. Well, nearly a house deposit in the UK. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I won't be going there anytime soon. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Size that down, maybe. Um, okay. Um, Alamoa, welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Island Living's one of your fave packs in the game. These types of builds with the ocean view are so beautiful. Yeah, it does make you want to like go on a summer holiday though, doesn't it? <laughs> Doing great, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Um, love to go to a beach, yeah. Can't wait until we get to take little girly pops to a beach for the first time. Tahiti has places like this. Oh, really, Goldbird? Your Sims are living your dreams. Oh, thank you, Alamoa. Yeah, the like the Solani's brilliant. Makes you want to go on any holiday, not just summer, really. <laughs> um. Just googled them. Oh god, how much are they? Let's have a look. Maldives holidays. Imagine. Hi Alex, welcome home. I've just booked a holiday to the Maldives with money I do not have. Um, how do you feel about that? Okay, we're going on Monday the 9th of September. Um... <laughs> 
want to go on holiday so bad at the moment. Looking forward to our UK trip in April, but the airport's calling my name, literally. Okay. I want... Um, I mean, some of these aren't as bad as I, I thought, to be fair. But I want to be, like, in a lakefront cabin. Like, you know... Like, let's search Maldives on the oh my god. Who just anonymously gifted Maldives a sub? <laughs> You're a troll. Thank you, whoever just gifted Maldives a sub. <laughs> You're funny. Good luck with the meeting, Joshua. Good luck. Oh, dearie me. Okay, let's look at Virgin. Virgin Holidays. Hotels in the Maldives. All right, let's look at this one. More details. Um, right. Um, room information. All right, so if I'm going through the booking process, we're going from London Heathrow and... I can't work out what room we've got. Not loading. Price includes one room. One superior room. Okay, so it's costing seven grand at the moment. <laughs> oh, over the water bungalows. That's a good idea. Maldives. Water bungalow. Okay. Thank you, girl bud. Right, check-in date. I'm flexible. Right, we'll do September. Check out, then, search. Greatest all-inclusive package with free speedboat transportation. Yeah, this is never going to happen. <laughs> oh, I don't like the look of them. Uh... Let's see. Oh my god, I just clicked off it like a big Egypt. Come back. Um, okay. Right, something like this. And let's see how much it costs. Property highlights, blah, blah, blah. Superior Beach Loft. Exceptional breakfast, free cancellation. Oh my God, it's got 57% um, off. It's down from... It's down from nine grand to 3.8K. Oh, wait, no, that's a beach bungalow. That's not an over the water bungalow. Sorry, it's down from 10 grand, 10.5K to 4.4K. Is that a water one? Um, if you want one with a jacuzzi, that's down from 13 grand to 5.4K. Water suite with pool, 24 grand down to 10K. Even 10K is huge. But the fact a water suite with a pool is 24,000. It's actually 24.5K. Like that's their most expensive one. 24 grand down to 10K. What a bargain. No, I'm joking. Um, that's a lot of money. I want to see it. Oh, here. Oh, wow. I mean, they look amazing. But also, who has 10 grand to just, like, spend on a holiday? 
for how many days? It is nine nights. A pool right next to the ocean. Yeah, it's got a pool. <laughs> it, that's wild. I mean, I suppose it's not too bad, to be fair, for what it is. And it's down a lot. But it, it's still a lot of money. This is why we haven't been on our honeymoon yet. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I just can't believe it. To be fair, though, like, the water bungalow isn't too bad. But what does that include, though? Does that include, like, flights? Does that include transfer? What's included? Like, I'm genuinely intrigued. Right, so if I click one... Hold on, I need to be careful that I'm not actually reserving this. Can you imagine? Bank account, minus 4.4k. So it includes... What's it include? It includes an airport shuttle, but don't you need to get flights and stuff? Like... Included. Transfer fee. Blah, blah, blah. This does not include flights, I don't think. Got a quote for 7.5k. Oh my lord. Yeah, okay, so how do I remove this from my, um, like, bag? How do I, how do I get rid of this? Why, wait, three adults? Who's the third adult? Who's coming along? I didn't select three adults. <laughs> Me! <laughs> no, I don't want to finish my book in. How do I cancel the book in? I haven't booked anything, I don't think. Me? <laughs> okay, let's delete that and let's come out of that. I, I, knowing me, I will probably like... Um, oh, I was on the wrong scene anyway. I'll probably click the wrong thing and end up doing it. <laughs> uh, that would not be good. But okay, I guess it's not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as I thought. I'm a great third wheel. I'll tag along. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was going to be worse, but I guess with the booking.com discount, it's not as dreadful as I thought. Still probably wouldn't, wouldn't be booking it, but... Hi, Alex. Um, I may have accidentally booked a holiday. So we're going to the Maldives in September. Oh, God. He would, be, he would not be happy that I did that. We're here trying to save for a house, which is probably going to take a fair few years, let alone booking a holiday to the Maldives. Like, YOLO? Secret, oh god, gold bud, is this a good idea? I'll Google it now. This is not a good idea. Oh, this is in Mexico. I was going to book Mexico um, for Alex's, as a surprise, for his 30th birthday. But then we got a dog. Oh, that looks amazing. No, do you know what? I can't look at this because it's going to make me, like, want to go. Because I was actually, like, planning on booking a trip to Mexico um, as a surprise for his birthday in June this year. But then, obviously, Doggo came along and our plans have changed there. So I, we are doing a UK holiday <laughs> um, instead of going to Mexico, which is fine. And we've said that we'll go, like, um, on a, holiday, a summer holiday, like, next year, maybe. But, yeah... Pitch it to him as a surprise. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> We're going! <laughs> I volunteer to doggy sit. <laughs> While you're gone, you're more than welcome. Planning South America for our honeymoon, but not until 2025. That would be amazing. Build inspiration. What I love about Mexico, that it's a huge build. Um, but I love that they have like the big old sort of... I don't need that anymore. Like big complexes and stuff and there's lots to do and yeah just looks amazing need to sneeze <coughs> bless me sorry um yeah it just looks great um okay we do like a little air conditioning unit that go inside as well oh yeah it does doesn't it 
Um, why would that? Why would that be best? I don't really have a. If I go there, is mm, no, not really. Thanks for blessing me, everyone. Yeah, I love Mexican food as well. What thing are we building? We are building the thing. No, we're building a romantic getaway, like retreat type thing. Um, so yeah, a little romantic getaway in Solano. But it's making me want to go on holiday. Oh, uh, we could do, do that like that. And pop that there and then let's do something on this shelf and then we're done hubby and i haven't been on a proper getaway in over 10 years never wanted to leave the dogs that makes sense it's hard isn't it like leaving them but i guess if you know that they're going with um someone you trust as well then that's that's always good big spring break destination for many college students not something all can afford no definitely some of the prices I was when I was looking, I mean, it was off peak for us uh, that we would have been going and it wasn't too bad. Like it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but we got we got a pooch on the way now. So we definitely, you know, for this year won't won't be going anywhere abroad. Oh, that's good for you, Faye. The two of our friends would have a dog. Yeah. Yeah. When you've got people that like you know you can trust with your baby or babies like that's understandable but it's hard leaving them because you just don't know what could happen like while you're away but it's better to just yeah not think too much about the what ifs um yeah yeah but i guess it doesn't have to be again like if if you do have people that will that will look after them um, and yeah, little fruit basket. No, I won't put that there. Ooh, chess. Let's raise that up. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Everyone's different though, aren't they? Millie was never, like, we never left her at like a dog kennels or anything. Um, cause she always like, hasn't really been good. Like we've been left, um, like anyway. So she would always be left with like family or friends or, you know, when I stopped going away with my parents, she was left with me. Haven't minded at all. We'd loved every minute with them and enjoy being home together. Yeah. Come dog sit, I'll apply to work for a board and come snuggle. Yeah. <laughs> He used to dog, uh, dog sit for my brother every summer when he and his wife took a cruise. That's lovely, Goldbud. Yeah, Millie's doing well. I saw her um, this weekend, uh, went back to my parents because it was my great uncle's 88th birthday. So my mum did like a nice little meal, like a surprise meal. Well, it was a surprise for me and Alex to be there. Um, a surprise little meal for him. Um, and he absolutely loved it. And then Millie was all over me and wanted to be on my lap and it was really sweet. And yeah, she seems to be doing good. Seems to be doing okay. Obviously, like, um, uh, she, she's, her vision is probably going slightly, but she still seems to be all right. Like, yeah. Posted Phoebe as a pup and as an adult, so you can see her coat change. And now I promise not to bombard you. Oh no, you can bombard me as what as as much as you want. Uh, let me go have a look. Um, oh god, yeah, look how light she was. Ah, yeah, she was so much lighter. Ah, that's lovely. God, she's so gorgeous. Such a cute face as well. Um, yeah, Millie's a good girl. Millie misses you. Yeah, I mean, she is very excited, you know, when we're back and, um, you know, that she's got us there to cuddle and whatnot. But it's, it's good she doesn't sort of, like, miss us on the daily, you know, that sort of thing. Or, like, become a little depressed doggy because we're not there. Like, then I'd feel awful. But, no, she just gets on with it and then she's happy when we do come come home and see her and yeah she's a good girl 
Do, 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 do. There we go. And she'll always be my first baby as well. Except now I'm more of a parent. Because <laughs> my mum's sort of more so been like Millie's mum, really. Um, because she did all, like most of the training and um, yeah. So now I'll have my own my own child. Surprised at how red she got. Yeah, all gold is a gorgeous yeah. Hi, Mary. You don't need to apologise. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying uh, Love Month. No, not yet. She comes home uh, in ten days, so not too long now. Not too long yet now, but you don't need to apologise. You don't need to apologise um, for not being here. I hope everything's been going okay. Um, I think your game needs to be on windowed full screen to be able to click off of, off of it. Um, not on full screen or windowed. Mine's on windowed full screen. Um, so just check in your settings. Room in our hearts for all of them. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a little look. Bella with the 44 months. Happy recent day, my love. Can we get some love in chat for Bella? You look stunning today. And ah, thanks. So Can we get some love and hype in chat for Bella? You lot resubbing for 44 months in a row. Thank you. Sorry, my bra strap's falling down. <laughs> Not that you need to know. Um, thank you for 44 months. That's huge. That is a big, big flex, Bella. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you for every little bit of love, every bit of support that you have shown over the last 44 months. I cannot believe it has been that long, but I am so grateful that um, you are in this community. I'm so grateful for your support as a friend, for your support as a mod um, over the last 44 months. And um, yeah, just grateful to have you in my life. And I love you lots and lots. And thank you for everything. And thank you for resubbing nonstop for 44 months. Um, I hope you're doing well, Bella. Thank you. I use um, Sims 3 camera. I use the Sims 3 because I find it better than the Sims 4 because you can get these sorts of angles, which, uh, yeah, Sims 4 you can't really sort of do. I just I, I just have always used it, so it's better for me to know what I'm do like doing. Uh, different when it's your own puppy and you're fully responsible. Yeah, love dogs and had them growing up, but so different when we got our Georgie and Beanie. Yeah. Oh God, you're probably better off, Millie, kind of getting rid of some mods and trying to single out which one it is. Um, oh, and Marissa, thank you for popping in to say hello. Thank you, thank you. Right, I will pop this on the gallery. So if anyone does want to grab it, they can. Have I posted like a... A beachy house. Okay. Mm. You see, when was the last time I did that one? Maybe. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Been cleaning more, um, more than I've ever cleaned before in my life. Like eighty percent of your new job. Oh wow, that's a lot of cleaning. Ah, oh, thank you, Marissa. Thank you, thank you. Right, let's get this up. Um, romantic getaway rental. Um, so it's one bedroom, one bathroom. This is a holiday home. For Solani, um, it's a beach house, perfect for a romantic getaway, beach rental, okay. Right, that's going up on the gallery. So if you do want to download it, you can. It is up there now. And there we go. We'll go and finish up for today.